Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Star Wars lightsabers. Today we're going to be looking at an old lightsaber I picked up at a toy convention not too long ago. This is from 2008, made by Hasbro. This is the Mace Windu lightsaber. You guys have been bugging for more Mace Windu. You love Mace Windu, so do I. So I'm actually really excited for this lightsaber. It's very large. It's actually a really, really big lightsaber, and it's not Blade Builders. It's not. So don't, like, you know, don't get too excited. It's not, it doesn't work with the Blade Builder system. It's not part of the Build Your Own Lightsaber system. This is its own thing from 2008. They did exist Build Your Own Lightsabers back then. Here's some close-ups. There it is. Look at that. So it, it is Mace Windu's lightsaber. It looks very good. There's a weird little nubbin thing right there, which we'll get into in a minute. Batteries go at the bottom. Takes three triple A's. No, three double A's. There's what looks to be like a Covertech belt clip type thing. Again, there's one of the screws that keeps this thing together. Now, this is a heavier lightsaber than most toys. Do you want to know why? Because this little secret nubbin right there. You ready for this? You guys ready for this? Maybe? You see that? You hear that? Now, I'll be honest, it sounds a little broken. I don't know. It's very loud. So it does make clashing sounds. It does actually flash. But here's the thing, I feel like the, the actual light is pretty weak. So I'm gonna hit the button now. I like that. So, you, you saw that though, right? You flick the button once. Oh, you pull it down. And it launches. It like It's like a little blaster gun is inside there. Every time you push it down, you prime it. And you pull down, and it launches the lightsaber up. It's like a cool ejecting lightsaber. I love this thing. That's It's the coolest feature I've ever seen on any lightsaber toy. One more time. Looks pretty good. Now, here's the thing. It's from 2008. So this toy, sorry, I should have turned it off. This toy at this point in time is now 10 years old. So it's probably seen some better days. That's why the sound isn't the best, or it just sounded like that way back when. I don't know. I don't know, but it does say to activate lightsaber. Point away from persons or animals. Do not point this at your best friend, because it will like dunk them in the face. Yeah, that's pretty close. I. I, I think this thing's great. This is really cool, but I need to test out the strength. Like I said, it's 10 years old, new batteries though, but let's test it out. Let's see how this thing does in the dark. All right, guys, I know there's some bright lights going on in the background, but pay attention up front. I'm going to do it. I'm going to eject the lightsaber. Oh, yeah. That's not terrible. It's not great. I mean, if I hold it this way, you can barely even see that it's ignited. So the light is not great. If you look straight down, it looks a little bit better. Either way, though. See, it does flash. Let's do it again. Let's turn this thing off. It flashes to turn off. And again, I'm going to eject it one more time. I, I think that's actually really cool. Oh, it, if you slam it down, it automatically turns off. So it's doing that. Now I'm going to push it down. And the sound automatically turns off. It knows. It's smart like that. I just love that feature. I think that's a really, really cool thing. And let's turn off. So cool. Guys, this is a this is a top-notch, really cool lightsaber. Now, there are a couple things I did want to show you super up close. So let's take a look here. There's a bunch of little warnings and all the weird stuff they got to say on there. There it is, 2008 LFL Hasbro. I want to make sure you see that. It's a cool-looking lightsaber. I love the texture. There it is, Hasbro. Cool little ring in the middle. You can see some of where the inspiration for some of the build your own lightsaber pieces came from. Looking good. There's the actual button nubbin thing. To activate lightsaber, point away from persons or animals. There's a big old warning. Do not poke jab with lightsaber. Sections are made to stick together in the extended position and will not easily collapse if jabbed into an object, individual, or animal. And then there's our battery things and don't mix old and new batteries be sure to take them out if you're gonna leave it for more than like 60 days or whatever again it's a clunky it's a clunky big lightsaber it's clunky and it's big like that is a huge huge hilt let's get a disney store lightsaber over here 
This is the Darth Vader lightsaber, in com which is a very large lightsaber. But in comparison, that's what we're working with. I got to tilt the camera because it's so tall. It's a huge, huge, like three to four inches difference. It's this thing's gigantic, but it's again, it's a solid piece. It's really, really cool. So I don't know. I don't even know what this retailed for. I might throw it on the screen if I find out. But you can't really find these anymore. These are really hard to find. So I picked it up for about twelve bucks at a toy con. It's just in a bucket of lightsabers. I saw it and I was like, "That's the one. I want it." So I just bought it. Guys, I want to know what do you think for a Mace Windu lightsaber? It might be large, but I think it's I think it's one of the better ones. The whole just the that feature alone, that ignite. You can see there's a little. Actually, I want to show you guys this. There's a little pellet thing inside there. You guys need to see this. So, okay, so if you look close, right there, there's that white pellet. That's actually what gets pushed down inside the barrel. And when you push the little button, that's what launches it up. Is that white little pellet thing right there? So that's that's how the mechanism works. It goes from the top. You push that down, and it shoots it out like a little pellet gun. And that's how this thing works. You want to see it again? Let's do it. Let's do it one more time. I don't flick. If I flick, see, if I flick, it doesn't do it. But you hit the button, and it shoots right out. I, super impressive. I wish they made them like this still. Guys, I want to know your thoughts. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave it down in the comment section below. If you haven't already done so, do yourself a favor. Subscribe to the Dano channel, especially if you like lightsaber videos. There's always going to be new Star Wars stuff, new lightsaber videos. We're adding Jurassic Park soon. This is, that's it, man. You want to take it up a notch? Use the force on that little notification bell. That way you don't miss any of those videos, any of the Star Wars stuff, none, none of it. You don't miss it because you get notifications every time I put out something new. Now, those of you who get the notifications, show up to my live streams, hang out in the comments section down below. Are overall just good, nice, cool people, answer questions, help me out, give me good suggestions. I always appreciate positive feedback, by the way. If you guys have a good idea for the show, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I like to read them, and if I like it, I'll, I'll put it in the show. So that's why I have the help of my sad baby squad. That's you guys, my number ones. So I want to feature you guys in my video too. So use hashtag sad baby squad or at me on Twitter and Instagram at Dano Flores. And I'll put you in the video just like this. Hello, sad baby squad family. And thank you for enjoying this video. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And may the first have with you question mark. And goodbye forever. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, subscribe, join the Sad Baby Squad, hit me up with your own clips, videos, whatever you guys are into, fan artwork. I also have shirts and stuff available for sale. Hit those little links down below if you're at all interested. And that's it. Go watch another vid.